sorry what is going on everybody welcome back to this madden 23 qb face of the franchise we are in week two against the pittsburgh steelers on sunday night football i didn't plan on playing this game but actually no i didn't plan on playing week one that was i played on my own justin herbert's on the steelers Let's go. did not know that okay did not plan on playing week one but ended up being an overtime showdown that we came back and won this was the game I planned on starting the season off with, but here we are. Amazing Pittsburgh Steelers defense, one of the best in the league. Now going up against a Justin Herbert-led offense. Justin Herbert, George Pickens, uh, who else am I missing wide receiver? I'm missing a few people that is going to be going to make me look very stupid. This is going to be one of the better teams in the NFL, and honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if you see him in the playoffs, maybe in the AFC Championship, but... Let's get into this game. Oh, they have Ed Oliver too. Awesome. All right, they still his defense is no joke. They got TJ Watt. They got Ed Oliver now. And Minka Fitzpatrick. I uh, don't think they have Cam Hayward anymore. They do have Devin Bush, Miles Jack. So, yeah, this team, this team fits a nothing to mess with. And if you guys are new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Just hit 1,000 subs. We're only looking to go up. Next milestone, 1.5. Let's get it. Then 2,000. Josh Jacobs makes it a third and one. So we are going to go for it here. I'm going to give the ball to Josh Jacobs. I'm going to trust him to get this conversion because we do definitely need it. And he runs directly into Miles Jack. And it's now a fourth and one. And we have to punt the ball, right? You're going to force this too? Of course you are. The Steelers spent basically this entire first quarter and got three points out of it. I don't know why I trusted my running back on third and one. I should have never did that because it's Madden. But I did. He gets one yard on that play, so now you know what. It's time for me to start throwing it in the air. Uh, I'll do this play because I can chuck it to Mullen. And no, I'm going to have to throw it away because Miles Jack is going to rush me. So now we're in some pretty scary territory. Third and nine. I got one pass off and it did not work. And their defense is coming up close. Let's see what we can do. I'm going to have to give it to Josh Jacobs. And he completes it up the middle as I was getting blitzed. What a play. First and 10 after that one. It was a very risky play. I'm going to go with this one. I don't know what any of the plays are called, obviously. The Steelers' defense is not fun to play against. I somehow get that through the numbers. The middle linebacker didn't jump eight feet in the air as I'm getting rushed again by three defenders. And I still managed to get that one off. I don't know how I managed that. This, this defense is not going to... Give me a fun night tonight because they're just going to be bringing the pressure. Our O-line cannot hold it. But Darren Waller is going to get open, get a little bit of separation with Devin Bush on him. Got a second and one here. Actually, we're going to the end of the first. All right, second and one. I'm coming off my MVP season when we started off 0-4 and, and ended the season, I believe, 12-5. and 5, I believe we ended the season. We ended the season on a 10-game winning streak. So we're trying to keep that momentum going into this season so far 1-0 started off the beginning of the season slow but i'm gonna rush and get bulldoze as our old line cannot hold their blocks all he had to do was hold his block and i would have had a few yards there but nope i have a feeling i'm not gonna be able to run against this defense and that's a pick make a fix patrick off the tip and that's an interception awesome <laughs> this is this is gonna be an awful night luckily our defense came through and force the turnover on downs we need to get some sort of momentum going i can't trust our offensive line to protect me because clearly it hasn't been working all right off to a slow start four for six 43 yards and one pick we haven't been able to run the ball much uh i'm gonna dump it off to Devonte. i have no choice here they did hold their blocks well there i am surprised about that but other than that other than that one play they, they have not been. All right, enough with the replays, Madden, for the love of God. Let me play the video game. Other than that one play where they actually blocked well, it has not been much. I'm going to throw it to Darren Waller on the run. It was a beautifully accurate pass, and it is complete. Second and 10, and I am going to go to the ground with Josh Jacobs and hope he can get something going. He's probably just going to get stopped for a loss of yard. Nope, okay, he got a solid, what, three yards? Uh, you know what? I'll take three yards at this point. Against this defense, I will 100% take three yards. And my God, Josh McDaniels has the worst offensive playbook, bro, in this game. It's so bad. There's, like, no good plays. Yeah, wow, I have no time. That's going to be a fourth and seven. 
We had to settle for the field goal. But once again, our defense holds strong. But we we need to score here. Darren Wall is going to be... How is that poorly... I swear, Madden just knows. They make a player open on purpose. And they will purposely ruin your pass. Like, that was perfect accuracy. And it was just... Didn't go nowhere. Bro. What am I supposed to do? I have no time in the pocket. This offensive line is getting completely blown up. Devontae, please, he gets the first down. That's going to take us to the two-minute warning. Never mind, a Steeler is hurt. That is not going to take us to the two-minute warning because they're going to stop the clock. So we have another play to go off here. But, bro, this, this old line, man, it is not having a fun time. I'm going to chuck it up to Devontae. That's a high pass that is, once again, always incomplete. Second and ten. I'm going to once again go with a pass here. We go with the four verts and hope that our old line can hold true. Great catch on Darren Waller. Is that going to be first down? It is a first down. I'd like to score here before halftime because we did get the ball to start off the half. And we did nothing with it. So, yeah, it's kind of crucial to score here. And it, it's crucial to score if I get more than one second in the pocket. Like, can we, like, double team TJ Watt at this point? Because I'm doing that. I'm legit just double teaming TJ Watt because he is just ruining my day right now. Absolutely ruining it. Double team him. I know that leaves number 98 open, but I mean, I'd rather have him rushing me than TJ Watt getting to the um, pocket in negative two seconds. To be brutally honest with you. This, I believe this is a play I'm usually good at running on. Not today because they are blitzing me again. Every play they've blitzed me so far. And we weren't close enough to kick a field goal. Let's see. You, you think they're going to blitz again? I wouldn't be surprised. This is bad, bro. I have... Not only do I have no time in the pocket, but since I have no time, I'm not able to get off a good pass because I'm always on the move. We have to run. Go, Devontae. Get out of bounds, please. Great. You, you didn't run out of bounds. Luckily, we have three timeouts. That was a great play by Devontae. I'd like to get a possible field goal here, but I highly doubt that will happen. Devontae is going to be my main guy on this play. That should be perfect. It is. Devontae Adams, great catch. We're close to field goal range. We just need one more decent completion, and we'll be at least in field goal range. Uh, I'd like to take a shot at the end zone, but I did not pick a play for that. And I'm going to run to the left. This is a great play. Run out of bounds. So that stops the clock. I'm going to run that same exact play. I'm going to run that same exact play. It's been a while. I forgot this is a glitchy play here. Nope, it's not the glitchy play anymore. Okay. You know what? We're just going to take that time out, and we're going to take our field goal and go into halftime. We got so lucky, the Steelers, they ended up turning the ball over. We are getting blessed right now that this Steelers offense is not able to score. I'm going to have to chuck that. Darren Waller has been my favorite target. He just grabs next to every pass I throw to him, no matter how close. The linebacker is on him. Josh Jacobs, please get us his first down. He does not. I feel like the run game is just not going to be possible against his defense. It's just not. I don't think I'm going to be able to get anything going on the ground. Uh, I'd like Darren Waller to run his route, but he did not. He gets a good block there as I go out of bounds. Third and eight after... An awful... Oh, my God, bro. I have no time. Luckily, my... Oh, bro, that was accurate, too. That had to be accurate because my X-Factor just allows that. I guess not, bro. He was he was open, too. And can I not... I can't even look at the replay of that. He was open on that play. And I figured my X-Factor... Wow, they didn't score again. I figured my X-Factor would allow me to throw an accurate pass, but I, I guess not. I guess, you know, defeats the whole purpose of it. Having perfect, perfect accuracy on the run... Darren Waller, please hold on to this. He doesn't. I just complimented you for that. Bro, this is... They're just not going to go scoreless for this long. It's just not going to happen. My Lord, TJ Watt. All right. We're double teaming TJ Watt again. This far into the end zone. I'm not allowing this. That They didn't even double team him. Please, Devontae, thank you. As we head into the fourth quarter, we need a touchdown here. A field goal, I don't think he's going to cut it. It's not because I do not trust us to be able to get a game-winning drive down the field against this defense. I just don't think it's going to be possible, to be brutally honest with you, because they have just had our number all all night long. All night long, they've had our number. 
So I am just not confident with a possible game-winning drive. I would be confident if uh, Josh Jacobs ran his route a little bit earlier. Uh, first down. I am not having a good night. 15 for 29, 20 yards and a pick. I can't wait to see the QB pressures. I figured out how to see it. You have to wait till the end of the game to see it. That's how you can see how many times the QB was pressured. I cannot wait to see how many times I was pressured. Usually the CPU is pressured a lot more because Madden. But I don't know. Actually, he could have been because they still only have three points. They still only have three points. Darren Waller wide open down the field. Great reception. Like I said, we need a touchdown here. So you know what? I'm running hurry up. I want to run that same exact play. Catch his defense off guard. Can we do it, please? Devontae! He does not make it in the end zone, but we're on the one-yard line. And you know what that calls for? QB sneak. QB sneak. You never run um, the ball with the running back this close. It just never works. QB sneak for the first touchdown of the game for both teams. And it is good. CJ Lewis in the end zone for the only touchdown of the game of this defensive battle and this is technically i think a rivalry these teams historically have played each other a lot or something i don't know i don't care about either i'm a chargers fan but this is going great so far we get saved by our defense the steelers must have turned the ball over for us to get it in this field goal range and oh my god dude this defense is crazy for us to get it this close they had to have turned it over they had to have five minutes left in this game we're up two scores and we can make it three with even a field goal i think give it up to Devonte. he's gonna drop it like every receiver in this game third and 11 we're running the same play that got us into position for that touchdown can we do it probably not i'm gonna have to give it to josh jacobs who are gonna have to kick a field goal all right apparently our defense has been the uh best of the game once again we get the ball back they don't have it i also love how we have next to no momentum Although, if roles were switched, they'd have all the momentum. The momentum system in this game doesn't make any sense. Like, you could have scored three straight touchdowns, and they would have momentum. Like, it's completely flawed. Darren Waller drops it again. Like, every wide receiver in this game. Like, Madden. If he already, he already has the ball, he's not going to drop it. Like, can we be somewhat realistic here? You're a simulation football game. Josh Jacobs, get us that first down to keep the clock running. And with that, we are going to beat the Pittsburgh Steelers 3-19 in our home stadium to go 2-0 on the season. It was a defensive game throughout the entirety until the fourth quarter where we scored a touchdown, a much-needed one. Our defense held their own, I'll tell you that much, as we get the win over Justin Herbert and the Pittsburgh Steelers. And apparently I was pressured only six times to 22. So... Is that correct? I don't know. Maybe I'll put a counter in the video. Maybe I won't because I'm lazy. Final stats on the game. Both QBs disappointed. This, this was a primetime Sunday Night Football game with the two top QBs in the league and both disappointed. 20 for 37, 282 yards, and a pick. No passing touch. Not even one passing touchdown in the single game. Only one total touchdown. Justin Herbert, 22 for 43, 164 yards, and a pick. 22 completions, 43 attempts, and not even getting 200 yards. Not a good look. Our defense played their minds out. Josh Jacobs had a terrible night. Uh, I had a decent night on the ground. I got the only touchdown of the game. And receiving-wise, Devontae Adams, 129 receiving yards. Darren Waller, 104. And Josh Jacobs, 49. Their leading receiver had 37 yards. Yeah, Deontay Johnson was the other receiver I was thinking about. They don't even have George Pickens. He must be hurt. He must be hurt. Uh, Defensive-wise, sacks. Marcus Davenport ended the game with two. Max Crosby with one. Tyrone Thomas, the rookie, with one. And then Ed Oliver has the only sack for them. Eric Kendricks, the middle linebacker, gets our pick. That's fitting for Justin Herbert to throw to a middle linebacker. Uh, and Minka Fitzpatrick has a pick um, off of us. But that's going to be for me. 2-0 on the season. GG.